I have this very basic scene set up inside of Solaris, and I have a ground, then I have a pig head, I assign some materials to them, and then I have a camera and a dome light, just for some general lighting. We are going to be using the instancer node to instance our lights inside of Solaris. So let's create an instancer node, and this node expects our light to be coming in from the second input. So let's create a light. And I'm going to set this to rectangle exposure 3 and set it to a spotlight. This is just so I can visualize the orientation of the light easier, but this will work with any light. How, how this works is actually very similar to the regular instancing workflow inside of Houdini. So we have to provide this node with some points to instance these, this light on top of. I'm going to copy my previous setup and paste it here. And this is just a sphere that I added. I removed the geometry with an add node, then I clipped it, and then I created some normals, which are based on the centroid of this pig head in our scene. You can see the normals are pointing away from the centroid. And in order for this to work, we have to set this instancer to reference. We can see our lights are showing up. So as we can see, these lights are now respecting the normals of our points and orienting themselves accordingly. And since this works so similarly to a regular instancing workflow, we can actually give these points any attribute and the lights will respect those attributes. So we can do a random color, for instance. And as we can see, our lights now have uh, random colors. In addition to this, we can also go ahead and modify these intensity and exposure parameters inside on our on our points. So let's do that. We can do a point triangle, and let's say f intensity equals fix zero one. I'm going to use a random function based on the point number, and fit this between zero and three. And I don't know if you can tell, but we actually have different intensities on our lights now. So some of these are brighter and some of these are less bright. Any technique you would use in a traditional instancing workflow would work with this as well. Randomized P-scales, randomized orient orientations, anything. Yeah, thank you for watching.